Their random sailing turn across the ocean washes Captain Base and her fearless crew to the shores of Turtle Island. After mooring the ship at the pier, the crew went fishing and on the quest for fresh lemonade. Since Laplace's hunt for the grey furry stowaway had led to a bad incident in the galley that Ooh. made the purchase of a new stew pot necessary, he and Captain Base went out to Claire's pottery store. Oh, Captain Base, this awful rat is chasing me in my nightmares. I'm so sorry for breaking the pot. I hope we can find the proper replacement. The crew yearns for tasty stew. Dear Laplace, don't worry. This could have happened to any of us. So let's see what Claire can do for us. Her pottery store is well known across the seven oceans. Welcome! My name is Claire. How can I serve you? Hi Claire! We're looking for a new stew pot. Can you recommend one? You came quite at the right time. Captain Ven was here recently. He helped me to compile ratings for the different types of bowls I offer. How about this? It's an all-time classic, top-selling, Claire's famous tin bowl. 250 people took part in its voting. They gave it 3.9 out of 5 stars. Alright, we take it. Oh, it's of such perfect shape, so smooth and, well, I have a certain connection to it. And it's, it's the last I have left. I haven't shown you this lovely copper pot, right? 15 votes, 4.5 sea stars, and we can talk about the price. Well, let's take this one instead. But on the other hand, there is this brand new iron vessel, which thrilled my customers. Got the top score of 5 sea stars. How many votes did this iron vessel get? Only two. But you see, it's brand new. Maybe I should keep it. Well, what about this cauldron with the shimmering surface over there? Ah, I nearly forgot. It's made of brass, super bulky, very common. I use the same one regularly. 4.2 out of 5 sea stars, 80 votes. Hmm, your rating system is interesting, but it's slightly confusing since they don't have the same number of votes. Yeah, I had the feeling that only telling you the number of sea stars is misleading. The number of votes has to be somehow included, but I couldn't figure out how. Captain, I still feel guilty for breaking the pot. I shall find a solution of how to combine sea stars and votes to provide a qualified shopping advice. I think you need the detailed sea star distribution. But it would be an intriguing question whether one can guess this distribution just from the mean sea star ratings. Well, for simplicity, I will work with binary ratings as approximation, so whether a customer likes the pot or not. Claire, but you didn't mention any price so far. Oh, Captain Base, there you are. We've met Captain Van at the shore. He'd dearly like to see you to ask your advice. So Captain Base followed Ernesto to Captain Van's ship which was anchoring next to the fish grounds of the island, while Laplace was haggling with Claire for a good deal. Oh, but who do we have here? Captain Ven, how did you come here? My crew was so busy doing experiments, we forgot to steer. We also came here by a random walk. I admire how fearless you face randomness. Base, we found a bottle message in the sea, which gave us reason to contact you. Oh, a bottle message? It must be mine! Well, I doubt it. For you must know where Treasure Island is. Because this bottle message contains a treasure map. Unfortunately, you are right. I'm not the author. But a treasure map? How exciting! Base, have a look. The map reveals the following instructions. You've reached the treasure island if, in a sample of 100 fish at its shore, you find 10 frogfish. Be aware, 
If it's 20, you've stranded on Paradox Island. Base. Since we found the bottle, this is the only island we came across. So we wanted to check if Turtle Island is the treasure island. Thrilling news! So I guess you already went fishing and started counting. How many frogfish did you find? Ah, that's the problem. We found 14. I wished to take another sample, but the villagers told me not to overfish their shores. Can you help me with this poor result and infer a probability for having reached the right island? Tough case here. I can only answer a different question. If this was Treasure Island, I could give you the probability to catch 14 frogfish in a sample of 100. <laughs> this is the type of experiment I like. Bah, but that's the wrong question. Well, it could help though. Maybe the draftsman of the map wanted to give us a hint with the name Inverse C. This reminds me of a problem my brother Thomas Bayes was discussing in one of his latest letters. Dear Mary Ann, I have recently studied an interesting problem raised by my friend Moivre, which inspired the question for the chance P to infer an unknown probability from a sample B to be in a certain range A. The following formula that basically rewrites the product rule gives me hope to find a solution to this inverse problem. Maybe you will find some application on your random journey across the ocean of uncertainty. Your loving brother, Thomas Space. I think this formula has found its application just now. I will apply it to give you, Captain Ben, an answer for your treasure hunt. We will find the probability that this is either Treasure Island or the opposite, Paradox Island. Don't be so confident. It is one of the two, you binary Bernoulli. It could be a third island for which we have no information about the frogfish population. Good point. We should consider this as well. Can you help Captain Base and Laplace to find answers to Vance and Claire's questions? <laughs> Given the pot ratings and number of votes, how can one compile a qualified shopping advice? How can one estimate the sea store distribution from the main sea store rating? How can one figure out if Turtle Island is the treasure island by comparing the given frog for share with that mentioned in the map? What is the probability that Turtle Island is neither treasure island nor paradox island? Watch the next video to gain more insight into Bayesian deep reasoning and have a look at the interactive maps with adjustable frogfish rates.